All right, and we are back, beginning uh, chapter two, slide three. I always like it when they show the underside of a character's tongue like that. It looks stupid. Like Invader Zim goes ham. Huh. That looks super janky with the shoulders. Like times. The gang was back in action. But little by little, we learned that Murray's heart just wasn't in it. Oh. Without the guru's permission to give up on his dreamtime training, he'd never really feel comfortable returning to the gang. Oh. We knew we needed to help him out. Ow. So we packed up our things, whipped up some quick disguises, and headed <laughs> for the Australian Outback. Oi! Slimey looking like a tosser. That's not Australian way, at all. Murray told us story after story about his teacher's amazing. Star Wars movies. reference. <laughs> Apparently, this guru of his was capable of fantastic feats. He used the dream time to blend perfectly into his surroundings and even gain mental control over the weak mind. Star Wars reference. Nice. If even half the stories were true, then this was Rub a lie. the eyes. Just Our gang needed to grow its ranks for a chance to get inside the Cooper vault. And this guru, this outback mystic, was looking like the best recruit we could have ever asked for. So I know in the However, beginning it talked about a telepath. Mm-hmm. It was a shock to find that things or was it a telekinetist? I can't remember. And the guru was nowhere to be seen. You know what? On Outback's your steakhouse. <laughs> oh no. So this chapter is weird. And a little sus. I mean, it is Australia. We'll get to it. I'm getting phase on mines already with that crane. A little bit, yeah. So, uh... Oh, I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah. Um, so you'll notice that uh, we... Uh, the gang had to put on disguises and get on a plane, whereas right. before we would just get in the van, because as you recall, we right. lost the van. Because the van is like lost at sea. Yep. Wait, we have what? not recovered oh. it. So, uh, time to do the hazard room for Murray. I was wondering when we get that. Yep, and this will be our last hazard room. Was that there before? The pink lever? No. Pluck it and chuck it. That's me. To pick something up, just get close and hit the circle button. To throw, just face your target and press the square button. Circle, square, ain't hardly fair. Looks like I've got plenty of rocks to throw with. Try breaking all those pillars. Can do. I can't remember if I mentioned this before, but Murray, some of his moveset reminds me greatly of Patrick in the Spongebob movie game. <coughs> ah. Did you ever mess with that game? Um, I have not played the movie game, but I have played the remaster of Battle for Bikini Bottom. The movie game holds up on its own. I would highly recommend it. It was a pseudo-sequel. Yeah, Sucker Punch. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha! Mm -hmm. Sucker punch! Grab! Throw! Destroy! Kid stuff! Do you know the uh, fifty bucks? Yeah. Do you know the history behind uh, Sucker Punch's name? Why they picked that? I don't. So when they were uh, setting out on their own, making their company, the founder or one of the founders, um, they they came up with a bunch of names. They had no idea which one to go with. And so, one of the guys asked his wife, Hey, could you look at these and tell me which one you like the best? She looked at the list for a while and then handed it back and said, I don't care what you call it, just don't call it Sucker Punch. <laughs> and they decided that a middle-aged woman's opinion was probably the diametric opposite of the uh, teenage boys that were going to be their, like, primary demographic. So they went with That's that. That's pretty good. That's great. That's right. 
You may not have the agility or technology to pick his pocket, but you can use your strength to mug him quite thoroughly. Oh, yeah. I just knock him flat, then pick him up. Once you've got him above your head, press the circle button to shake him like a doll. He has and collect the goods. Keep at so this is how <laughs> Murray, quote unquote, we'll pickpockets. <laughs> yeah. We'll never forget. So, um, I know you've been talking about doing Monsters, Inc. game, and have you, uh, you're familiar with the movie, right? Of course I am. I've, I watched Monsters, Inc. many times as a child. Yes. Um, so there's a theory that's kind of fun. Um, so you know how when they're going through, um, the, like the people are scared and running and this guy, they keep saying that the kid's doing all these superpower things. People notice that's all the stuff that Jack-Jack does. So the theory is like Jack Jack's got okay, into the okay. monster world and wreaked havoc at one point, but eh. huh. Pixar loves its references. As I recall, the the Pixar theory posits that the monsters are using time travel, like they're super future humans or something. Yeah. And the power of the scream creates a time paradox, which is stored as electricity or I don't know and in the Kingdom Hearts universe the monsters uh, monsters Inc uh, canonically breaks most of the universe's rules by allowing transfer between worlds uh, bypassing most of the normal methods oh like there are a couple of when times you say, yeah when you say between worlds do the doors go to, like, different worlds in the Kingdom Hearts universe? Yes, there is one part where uh, they open up a couple of doors, and if you are real quick and look behind them, they are the other worlds in that game. Oh, that's cool. Their technology is so good, it breaks the Kingdom Hearts magic or something. I don't know. When does, when does that... I should find out on my own but when does that take place in the monsters inc timeline uh, uh the game uh the events of D kingdom hearts 3 uh take place after monsters inc the, fir okay. the first film so 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 are they on laugh power at that point yes they are well still gonna be better than monsters at work i wanted to like it so much but it just sucked so much <laughs> I think I saw a little bit of that, like, out of the corner of my eye, but I, I hadn't it, sat down and watched most of it. It has its moments. I like some of the characters. You can really tell that Mike and Sully, like, they wanted to pay Billy Crystal and uh, John Goodman as little as possible. Which I would say, I, I don't know, like, because they're in a fair amount of the episodes. I don't know. It's weird. Like, and Sully looks bad. Like, he straight up looks like he's missing. He has less hair or less fur than in the first movie, if you can believe it. I'm sure that whatever they were doing for uh, these little shorts or whatever is not as much as they had for a feature film. Well, that's the thing. Like, Toy Story pretty much doesn't cheap out with their shorts. It looks just as good. So, whatever they're doing for their, like, Disney Plus division, they're not giving them the resources they need. It's just, ugh. Mm. Well, so I bought uh, Spin Attack Level 2, so now I can good. show off that mechanic of charging up twice. Nice. Although, honestly, the Spin Attacks I don't use very much. I don't find them terribly useful. No problem, pal. I'm looking forward to meeting him. Anybody you call master must be heck of a guy. Oh, he's awesome. He'll get inside your head and freak you out six ways from Sunday. Uh, awesome. Be warned, he talks in a grammatical way that's like Spanish, but he's speaking English, if you can believe it. Yeah. Isn't that... That's kind of how Yoda speaks, right? Like, it's like the... Structures sentence structure of Spanish, but it's English because I'm not sure. I, the there's verb probably goes a first? there's probably a technical term for it, but I don't know what it is for exactly how his uh, speech 
alters. And I also believe that he did not uh, speak that way as much in the original films as no, people think. That was definitely not. It was done to an extreme so, in the prequels, I think. It, yeah, it was annoying. Well, that's his hut. But he doesn't really hang out there on account of the smell. Ugh. The smell? It's a long story. I had to apologize up and down for like a month before he'd speak to me again. What did you do? The unspeakable sly. The unspeakable. Well, thanks for speaking of it. I'm headed for the hut. I don't like to speculate as to what that could mean. I know enough about hippos that I can tell you exactly what Murray did. <sighs> the thing is, is that you might not be right. I mean, I'm not sure what, honestly, I'm not sure what would be worse, but hippos are disgusting, straight up. And violent. Yes. Like, if I had the choice to have to fight a lion, a tiger, a bear, or a hippo, it would, I would not ever pick the hippo. That being said, nothing beats the moose. That, that, just no. You know, this green water is never really uh, commented on. I assume it's runoff from Sorry, mining, but... Nobody's home. And by the mm. looks of it, I'd say the guru is fighting someone or something off here. I'm starting to think the miners might have got to him. Oh, no. You might be right. They'd come in and be all angry and yelling, and he'd be all peaceful, and they'd just get ticked. <laughs> then he'd try to find a middle way, and they'd just go crazy and smash everything up, and then haul him off. Where do you think they might have taken him? They got him! My master's a goner! Maybe we should get Bentley on the line. It's tough to say, but given the layout of the miners' camp, I'd venture a guess that they used that area with a high fence as a makeshift stockade. Hmm. It looks like there might be a way up using that cliff below. Shouldn't be a problem. Just keep an eye Wait, out for that gyrocopter. Wait, what's... I'd What's in the kangaroo's pouch? The guru's position. Uh, Thanks, pal. something I don't like to comment on too much when I am knocking these guys out. Oh no! Bring your child to work day was a disaster. Oh no! It gets worse. <laughs> Ah, oh, flashlight gun. That's kind of cool. That's another game I need to play through is the Ghostbusters one. Oh, Ghostbusters the video game from the 360? Yeah, it, it looks really... I think I got it on Steam. Or Epic. Uh, it was a free Epic game a while back. Yeah, it's, I'm pretty sure I got it. It's good. I've played it numerous times. In fact, mm. I played it every Halloween for a number of years to where I yeah. kind of got sick of it, so... Uh, oh, I also I got I could... it for really cheap on Switch one year. I see. I wish I could mod the uh, player character to be a different model. Yeah, this this reminds me of uh, when Aang had his home destroyed by that those Earth engineers a little bit. Except this was not benevolent by accident. This is just straight up. Ugh. Hey, it's the guy. The I'm a good yep. friend of Murray's. He's come is he a koala? From his I believe so. Yes. Sure. I'll just bust you out of here, and we'll go talk to him. Hi. You seriously won't leave without your gear? Yeah. I can see that the I really don't like how well modeled that ass is. As I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> Me and my gang have a real talent for stealing back things that were wrong. I will say, I would. I think Sly Three uh, was able to do the environmentalism thing in this game with a little bit more subtlety than in Sly Two. Yeah. Because here it's clearly like, yo, you're wrecking up the place that people enjoyed. Whereas the other was like, you're just building infrastructure. Who cares? The guru won't leave the stockade until he has his walking staff and his moonstone. He also insists that we purify Ayer's Rock of all miners. Only then will the Dreamtime spirits be appeased, and the guru will be free to use his powers. 
Sly must have impressed him in their conversation, because now he is requesting that Murray and I meet with him individually. Something about judging our spiritual centers. I mean, wanting to see Murray isn't unusual. He was his master. Yeah. I'm going to say that uh, <clears throat> it's not going to be too good for uh, Bentley. Foolishly unearthed the mask of dark earth. I guess it was his job to guard the thing. And now that it's out, bad things are sure to follow. Sounds like mumbo jumbo to me. But we've encountered some unexpected well, yeah. phenomena over the years. So I'm not going to rule it out as a threat to our operation. I what mean, do you mean you did mumbo jumbo, uh, Bentley? Like, you were had me capture ghosts with, with a ghosts. camera last game. You blew up a mind shuffler. You drowned 17 ra- Okay, I'll let- I'll let that go. You shouldn't. <laughs> but if I don't let it go, I won't catch all the other atrocities. Of which there will be many. Man, I want to play a didgeridoo at some point. It seems cool. And take way too much lung capacity. <laughs> Because I played, I played wind instruments, and the bigger the wind instrument, the more air, the uh, like more volume of air you need. This is an awkward mission to try to get to. Yeah. Here we go. There might be another way, but eh. After capturing the guru. The Dingo's confiscated his magic walking staff and moonstone. Without these objects, the Guru is powerless. Given that we're dealing with miners, I bet they stash the goods in one of the caves around here. It's a security That's a real unfortunate guys on homophone, duty isn't protection. it? I agree. The most what? likely candidate is this The word miner and miner yeah. spelled and sounds exactly the same. Good place to start. I'm they're not spelled the same, but they are pronounced the same. Oh, they're not? Minor. And minor. Oh. I guess I'm just illiterate. Man, you know what I want? I want a ring pop, but I don't want it to be candy. I want it to be a popsicle. Ah, a frozen one. Hmm. Yeah. Your optimizer goggles will make navigation easier. Put on 3D glasses one minute ago. One of Futurama's best stupid jokes. If they're here, the guru's items would be stashed at the okay. far end of this cave. For a second there, I thought you were just gonna fall into the abyss. Remember Dinosaur Planet's mine? Dinosaur in the first planet? area. Sorry, uh, Star Fox Adventures. I have never played Star Fox Adventures. You haven't? Oh, never got around to it. Especially oh, when it's when it's a uh, it basically a Zelda game that's not as good as a lot of Zelda mm -hmm. games. Even I know that much. Oh, we should do it sometime. It's real stinky. I would love to follow along on a playthrough. Of that. It is just like either that or watch. Um, Watch uh, Wooly and the Gang's um, playthrough is pretty good. Although Wooly drops a hard R out of nowhere that's just like, oh, that was weird. I mean, it was warranted, but it was weird. I mean, he could do that. He's Wooly. He just can't give out passes. Do not trust this man to give out passes. Gosh. That reminds me of, remember <laughs> when Blizzard had that uh, diversity chart? Oh, that thing's amazing. And uh, Pat ended up with a higher score based off of what they could find than Wooly. Yeah, because it came down to who is geographically further from the office. Is what what, the what type metric. of person are you less likely to find in San Francisco? Uh. Time to take you back to your rightful owner. Wait, the office is in San Francisco. Or maybe it was California or whatever. I don't know. Uh, I was picturing Japan, but that makes more sense. 
Cause yeah, I and I love and it's accurate too. Is that it's like well, we're about to release some really bad press. What can we just super duper brownie points into a char existing character? Or make a new character. That started that out ready. as a joke, or like, just like. A, but it's real. It, it, it seemed it, like maybe it was undeniable. maybe it was like uh, serendipitous. Like they just so happened to have that, and it was a knee jerk reaction. But the regularity of it makes me think that they really no, did it, stockpile it, characters and, and it concepts. Cannot, just it cannot for that be. Purpose. There is no way that is a coincidence. And I'm going to point something out that people might not like. Is that. Remember how Nintendo's um, recent direct was just incredible? Yeah. Well, what have they done real recently? Oh, it was preemptive. Mm -hmm. Release good like, Nintendo direct and then uh, try and kill uh, the pro gaming scene as much as possible. Not just that, but the YouTube restrictions, which I think is even more asinine. You think Nintendo was pressuring YouTube to get on with the ad blocking? And oh, stuff? did you not hear about this? I did not know what. Oh, okay, no, yeah, this is worse than the tournament thing almost because basically it's um, Nintendo saying to like policy for like, um, like remember their partnership thing that was bogus? Yeah, where they tried to um, basically do the same thing that they're doing now where it's like here's all the rules you can't make right. any money whatsoever and then we'll put right. your stamp so of approval on it they updated those rules and they are just like it's basically don't just don't let's play our games like and people have pointed out that it's literally unenforceable but it's clear what like the writing's on the wall literally it's just like Ridiculous. I, I mean, we 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 are not capable of making money off of what we're uploading right now, which is Super Mario sixty four. No, do, but that's do the we, thing. It's, I just want to know: do we adhere to those rules, or no? We, not does. even we do. Okay, so that's... nobody adheres to the rules. Okay, I gotta look like, these I, up. I they're so bad. About this staff. Like, Another booby trap. but that's the thing. Like, it's a scare these tactic. Yeah, it's it, it's just trying to get people to self censor. Nothing Pretty like much. It's like when people say unalived, which is silly. I I first uh, encountered a lot of TikTok like culture when uh, uh, Civi oh, Eleven. No. Yeah, the, those whips are bad news. Um, when yeah. Civi Eleven, as an April Fool's joke, for that the entire month did a uh, review of uh, Doom's TNT Evolution. Um, one TikTok a day for each level, mm -hmm. and I was like, "What is what is up with all of this stuff that he's like saying and weird editing choices?" And it's like, "Oh, this is the TikTok experience. I didn't even know." Yeah. So here's the crazy part. From what people understand, that's all superstition. Like huh. potentially, like it's just afraid of shadow bands and stuff. But people will just, you know, like you said, self-censor to the point that, well, it's like, if it's your livelihood, then you can't take a risk, so. Yeah. Like, okay, I might have been exaggerating a little about the Nintendo thing, but the rules are stupid. Like, I wish I could remember a single one, but I just, judging by everybody's reactions, they're pretty bad. Alrighty, well, that mission is done. And you're probably gonna sprint over to the safe house, or where are you going? Yep, last mission is a uh, Murray mission, so. Cool. Well, see you guys next time from Murray. See ya.